I think leadership counts. And so this has to be something that the head of the organization uh, truly embraces. Uh, when I started um, as commissioner um, in the Bloomberg administration, I was commissioner for the Department of Youth and Community Development um, there for 12 years. When I first started, uh, my organization was blasted. I don't think they, the, the organization actually had met me. It was an organization called Blacks in Government. And they blasted uh, both DYCD and me uh, for the number of uh, white managers. I think at that time, uh, the agency, as I best remember, was about 75% white managers. And, and I, I was already quite aware um, of some of the hiring practices uh, at the organization, and I was already committed to changing that. Uh, uh, very, I, I'm very proud that some about a year and a half to two years later, that same organization said exactly what I'm saying. Leadership does count because we were able to have both increase uh, the competency level, increase the credentials of uh, the employees and the managers, and at the same time have it be 40% uh, white. And so um, I think you really have to be committed. Now there are some things that I did that weren't traditional. And I'll give you one, just one example before um, I hear from the other panelists. But, but um, I had an African American man who was very, very talented. And my, the DOI report came back and said that he actually didn't have a college degree. And here he was at the top echelon of my organization. And the knee jerk reaction could have been just to fire him. That's so easy, just fire him. He was excellent, and he was a great, great uh, employee. Instead, I committed for the next three years to meet with him every Friday and talk to him about how he was going to get that college degree. He just emailed me two weeks ago and said he was going to Baruch for his master's degree. And I think we have to decide whether we're going to invest in people and groom people and prepare them and, and, and prepare them for success. Thank you, Terry. 